Hello, welcome to Lucina Nilus. Okay, so we are back here at my kitchen, and the reason why I'm here is because I'm going to show you how to cut a whole chicken into pieces. Why? I know that you know how to do it, or maybe you will tell me, oh, I can just ask the shop owner. Okay, to chop it for me or to cut it for me and some of you might say nowadays you can really buy dressed chicken right you can even buy it based on uh, what which part of the chicken you want like you can just buy all the drumstick or the which means the leg part or the, the uh, breast part or the wings right so you can really choose which part of the chicken you would like to to buy however uh, even in Korea I can actually buy a dressed chicken and already chopped into pieces so I don't have to worry or bother myself but the thing is every time I buy this kind of dressed chicken I find it uh, bothering when I see that they didn't cut it nicely that I can find uh, chicken bones that are very sharp okay especially with the the ones on the ribs so if this uh, chicken bones are too thin and quite sharp and somehow you accidentally like swallow it because uh, there are some parts where the chop part is quite small and when it's cooked and it you eat it together with some kind or uh, with the meat then you cannot just easily uh, chew it and somehow you might accidentally swallow it and it can be fatal because a friend of mine here in Korea uh, had a, a intestinal hemorrhage which uh, she found out later because it doesn't really felt pain or you know, painful and when she found out that it was uh, caused by a chicken bone which is so sharp or sharp enough to uh, cut the wall of uh, her intestine so even for pets especially dogs and cats we actually discourage everybody to feed uh, our pets with uh, bones especially chicken bones because we can they uh, animals can easily chew it but not completely chew them to the point that they can digest it properly so even our dog when i was young suffered from that uh, and uh, they have to go through a uh, surgery in order to get rid of those bones so it will be costly as well that's why i plan and thought of uh, teaching you how to cut chicken into pieces that will prevent you to actually cut in between bones okay so it will help you to uh, eat your chicken safe and how did I learn this or where did I learn how to cut this chicken actually from my mom my mom taught me when I was young maybe I was in high school to uh, how to cut chicken properly so I would like to share it with you so join me and I hope that uh, whether you you want to continuously buy it from the market as dressed chicken or you want to try it yourself to cut your chicken your own chicken then uh, it's good okay so let's see this is the dressed chicken that I bought from our local market
an ordinary kitchen knife will do the job, although mine is not very sharp. I will cut this part because Koreans doesn't like to eat this. We'll start cutting the legs. First, we have to cut the skin and some part of the meat before we can snap the joints apart. Then, we can cut in between the joints so we don't have to cut the leg bones separately. You can see here there is no cracked bones. Here's another fatty part of a chicken. We cut this off and it would be better not to include it in our cooking to lessen the fat that we eat. This portion of the chicken is a little bit difficult to separate because of the neck bone which is connected to the rib cage. So we have to cut the wings first. As you can see, I am having a difficulty in holding the chicken because my hands feel greasy after holding that fatty meat. I need to wash my hands first. Here is the neck bone, and we finally separated the breast meat. We have to cut the breast meat into half. Make sure to slice it on the same part so you can have the soft bone cut smoothly.
cut the rib portion. Now this breast portion is quite big, so we will cut it into three small pieces. It also depends on what kind of recipe you are preparing. To separate the tie from the leg, we just have to cut them from the joints again. As we all know, chicken ribs are thin. That's why it's dangerous to cut them and leave a sharp edge on it. If your knife is not sharp enough to cut it off in one chop, use something hard that you can pound on your knife to push it through the bone. Some of you may not want to include the neck bone, but if you do, you can take off the fatty skin first before cutting them into two or three pieces. So now, let's get rid of all the fatty parts of the chicken. and see how many pieces of chicken do we have. We have at least 15 good pieces, excluding the neck and the bony parts of the ribs.
I suggest that you wash the chicken at least two times and then soak it in water for about 30 minutes to get rid of the blood that is still in the meat and bone of the chicken. That's all folks, I hope you learned something from me today. Until next time, thank you for watching.